Okay. Are you familiar with the word epitaph? An epitaph is simply a reminder on a gravestone marker of what was important to the person, what was important to the individual. What would it say on our gravestone? I came across some very interesting epithets that I thought I might mention to remind us of the things that are important in this life. For example, Harry Edsel Smith, born 1903, died 1942, looked up the elevator shaft to see if it was coming on its way down. It was. Well, he didn't make it very long, did he? I ran across another one by the name of by a man named Solomon Pease, and here's what it said: Here lies the body of Solomon Pease. Pease is not here, only the pod. Pease shelled out and went home to be with God. Pretty interesting idea of the way that man looked at life and the way he felt about God and his relationship. Found another one that I found interesting by the name of a woman of Anna Wallace in Ribsford, England. It says, The children of Israel wanted bread, and the Lord sent them manna. Old clerk Wallace wanted a wife, and the devil sent him Anna. Well, Anna must not have been a very good woman to live with for many years to have that on her gravestone marker. But friends, as we think about our own life and our own demise, what would we want put on our marker? What are the things that are the most important to us? Of the greatest of things that would be said of any individual is simply he was a Christian. Acts 11 verse 26, the Bible says they were called Christians first in Antioch. Would it be said of us that we were a, a loving husband and loving father, that we raised up our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? Ephesians 6 verse 4. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have on your gravestone the words of Matthew 6.33, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Wouldn't it be wonderful, as Paul said, for one to put, for to me, to live as Christ and to die as gain. Philippians 1, verse 21. These things remind us of the brevity of life. They remind us of what's really important in this life. And so may each of us consider what are our priorities? And on the day of our demise, what would we have put on our marker? What are the things that really stand out? And may we be encouraged to examine our priorities and see, are we really putting first things first in this life?